Hello everyone, welcome back to another League of Kingdoms tutorial. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to give you the too long, didn't listen on the CVC updates for this upcoming CVC season. Alright, now right out of the bat, there are only going to be 16 continents in this season. So it will be uh, continent C1 through 16. The requirements to get in will be the same as always, so you need to have, like you can see here, these continents you can I can migrate to. Uh, that's because their Congress is occupied. So for these next C-17 through 24 to join, C-24 will need to have their Congress occupied, and so will all the other ones. Um, after that, they could and most likely will be involved in the immediately following CVC. Um, there are other level there are other restrictions for this upcoming continent versus continent. It'll be a level requirement. So you will be required to be level 20 to be in this CVC. Uh, which for based on everything that they've said, I think that you would need T4 and above to actually effectively take place and not just be gathering or farming low level monsters and stuff like that during it. Um, so as you can see here, we are going to have, like I said, the eight continents. It'll be a random starting position or based on power, I believe. Um, and then we will have gates in front of each one. The gates will open on different days. So as you can see here, we have our first gateway that opens on the third day. And that will be the gateway to Fortress 1. So if we're starting here in Zone 7, it'll be this front gate opening on day 3. And then on day 10, we will have our next gateway open, which will actually be the crystal gate here. So we would be fighting, uh, which if we were in starting point seven, it'd be starting point eight, and us would be warring for Fortress One on day six. And then we'd have at it on day 10 for the crystal zone. And then after that, on day 13, the Fortress Two gates will be available. Um, then we have the Siege of Fortress 2 on day 17, and the Magdar Zones will actually open on day 20. And on day 24, we will have access to the Ancient Temple. Um, on the 27th will actually be the Siege of the Temple itself, so that will be the beginning of the finale for this CVC. And to elaborate a little bit more on the Fortresses and the Gates, now to see into each of the other zones you will need to actually occupy your gate so it'll be another building like we had the citadels in the last round um, and the shrines and stuff it'll be very similar um, but they will have an increased capacity to where it can kind of give the defender the benefit and they won't have the reserve so um, in the uh, shrines you have a reserve those troops actually aren't participating in the battles until they're pulled from it so they would be added to the battles after those troops leave and there's room for them to join so they remove the reserve and just expanded the capacity for those troops um, it'd be the same way for any other zone you'll need to occupy the gate to be able to have it visible and then after that like I, I don't I think you can leave the zone anytime but they said like you're uh, friends won't be able to help you if you're in there and we lose act control of the gate So I think that just means that you could teleport back, but they cannot come in there So it'd be very similar to the last time you're just trapped and would have to teleport out um, We are also going to have new monsters in here. So this might be some teasers at some of them or something. I don't know um, <laughs> but we have <clears throat> the Cyclops and the Spartai um, I'm most likely saying that wrong um, but they will go all the way up to level 10. And then, like I had mentioned, we do also get the Magdar, which will be a raid boss. Um, so you have to work together with your alliance and potentially your continent to slay that to receive its rewards. Um, and on that same note, the fortresses and the temple um, will all give an occupational bonus. So the first occupation and final occupation I believe it is an actual like mailbox reward like gems and stuff potentially don't hold me to it that is just from what was insinuated during the AMA um, and then after that we do have our treasure hunt will be here 
it'll alternate weekly so it'll start off on one of them and then it'll change and rotate through it could loop back through so you'll have a repeat of one of them they could add a new treasure i'm not sure i haven't been told any of this um, and then we're also going to have events similar to the great kingdom they will actually be weekly though so it'll be like gathering monster hunting raid bosses and killing maybe i don't know <laughs> something like that and then they also said we are going to have some new events as well um uh, they said dev points could carry over so crystal spent might actually affect lands um, i'm trying to think if i missed anything um thanks for stopping by 